In the world of science fiction, technology sometimes takes over and strips humans of their freedom. In reality, technology today is often preserving our independence as we age. Dennis Dota explains in today's Lifeline. 70. Try again. Oh, dear. 70. 36 years of teaching was enough for Honor Hacker, so she retired. However, she intends to keep her brain fully employed. We're basically stimulating and, uh, you know, doing something instead of becoming stagnant. I don't want to be a stagnant old lady. You're sharp today. You got it on the first try. Honor is part of a national pilot program to test Empower by Dacom. It's a highly interactive computer-driven system designed to keep aging Americans' minds young as long as possible. E-N-S breaks. Empower throws out a daily mix of puzzles, memory games, and math challenges at seniors. Notice there's no keyboard, no computer mouse to mess with. The system remembers each player's skill levels and charts their progress. Honor says it's far more engaging than even the most educational television program. I think this is completely different. It changes constantly and keeps you... You know, I played cards one minute and the next minute I was trying to figure out that song. What they're learning about aging well here could help any one of us. In fact, with an aging pool of baby boomers, it's estimated that by the year 2020, Minnesota will have more people over the age of 65 than under the age of 18. The clients who participate are um, brighter, happier. Kathy Bacchanist is chief operating officer for Ecumen, the state's largest nonprofit senior service provider with over 100 facilities. Do not think nursing home, however. Think of the things that preserve independence and dignity. Um, to be challenged so that uh, we are as sharp as we can be. And I think that um, crosses all ages. Technology further preserves Honor's independence in her Maplewood apartment. Electronic sensors record her pattern of daily movements from room to room, confirm that she's taking her medications and is making her meals. But it's not spying. Well, there's no audio, there's no visual, it's all done through motion detection. That way, if Honor's routine varies drastically from the computer-charted baseline, staff can simply check in to make sure she's okay. 43 minus 37. Yes. Although, if she's spending less time at home lately, the first place they may want to look is in the Empower training room. You're sharp today. Game on. Dennis says the Empower study is taking place at 11 sites around the country. He also tells us the quiet care in-home monitoring system can be routed to the computers of family members anywhere in the world, giving them a peace of mind that their senior relatives are doing okay. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, I like that. It's a yeah. great idea. Mm -hmm.